um, <clears throat> a request for a video before the semester even begins. Wow, how exciting. So we got this request for, from a DP, and the, the question was about a problem that showed up in her chemistry primer. So this is the beginning. And this question is about, I pulled the question up there, this is about converting units, okay? But more particularly, converting squared units. All right. <clears throat> so the first one, there's an example that's given. It goes from square millimeters to square meters. All right. How are we going to get a certain number, let's say x square millimeters, to y square meters? All right. The next question that, that she, that's given in the, in the uh, question stem is, uh, micrometers or micrometers, square micrometers to square meters, right? So suppose I have n uh, micrometers or micrometers, how many, uh oh, <laughs> that's kind of a weird unit, right? Suppose I, how many square meters am I going to have? All right, so let's, uh, that's what this question's about. My computer's a little slow right now. Okay. So let's get rid of that. Let's come back over here and look at the question. All right, so, the, <clears throat> excuse me. With 130 square millimeters, how many square meters am I going to have? And that's what this question's about. All right, so let me show you. I'm going to work this exactly the same solution, but I'm going to work it over here. I'm going to talk my way through it. 130 square millimeters. And in the end, we want to know how many square meters there are going to be. All right, well, in order to do that, we've got to convert uh, millimeters to meters, or square millimeters to, to uh, square meters. Well, one important, I think, valuable way to think of this is this is really millimeters times millimeters, right? And so if that's the case, I can say I can cross off the mil one of those millimeters with a meter, right? There's a let me do this with a different color. There's a thousand millimeters in one meter, and in doing so, I've crossed off that, right? Well, let's do it again then, and we'll cross off the other one. How many millimeters are in a meter? It's a thousand, thousand millimeters in a meter. And now, I've crossed off that, and I have my square meters. Okay. So this then is going to be 130 divided by 1,000 divided by 1,000 square meters, right? Which is going to be 130 over 1,000 squared square meters, which is going to be 130 over 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, right? It's a million square meters, which is equal to 130 over 1 times 10 to the 6 square meters, which is equal to 130 times 1 times 10 to the negative 6, right, square meters, which is equal to 130 times 10 to the negative 6 square meters, which is equal to 1.30 times 10 to the negative 4 square meters. Okay, so I know I did that kind of fast, but I partly did that kind of fast because it was given uh, in the, in the, in the, introduction here, so um, I did exactly the same work that they have here, but it may be helpful to hear, you know, someone's voice going through it. All right, so let's do another one now. <clears throat> Excuse me, let's do, let's get rid of that, wait, let's get rid of that one, and let's come back here, and the other question was uh, 1.5 micrometers, oh, more, more, uh, 
Well, it's actually the same sort of math, but a little, a little challenging. 1.50, I'm probably going to say micrometers, micrometers into, I think the question was square meters. Let's go back here and look at this. Was that square meters? They're asking to do. Oh yeah, the question was 1.5 micrometers convert this to square meters. Okay, so yeah, we have we do have that written down correctly. This is what this question is about. All right, so let's do the same thing here. Let's say um, I got to I got to cancel out micrometers, right? And you know what? I'm going to go a little faster this time. Uh, first of all, I'm going to write down what is the units for micrometers. It's 1 times 10 to the 6, that's a million, over 1, right? Uh, but I'm going to save some time here, and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm just going to square it on the outside. Instead of writing it out twice like I did in the previous problem. Right. The previous problem, I wrote it out twice, right? But this time I'm not going to do that. This time I'm going to just square it. Okay. That gives me then, what color am I in? Am I in the right color? 1.50 micrometers uh, times square meters, because I square everything, 1 times 10 to the 12 micrometers squared, right? Now my micrometers are going to cross off, and I'm going to be left with that, okay? So this is equal to 1.50 square meters divided by 1 times 10 to the 12, which is equal to 1.50 times 1 times 10. That was a little ugly. That zero was a little ugly there. Let's go back up and try again. 0 to the negative 12 square meters. And that's just 1. That just crosses off right there. That 1 just sort of disappears. This ends up being then equals 1.50 times 10 to the minus 12 square meters. Okay, so that was a little fast. Maybe a little too fast, but let's suppose um, that uh, that was a relatively thorough, relatively clean answer. And what I recommend that you do, if you still feel confused about that, is you stop and you look back at it again and you pause it as you go through. Of course, these videos are so easy for me to make that I, I do welcome you to, to ask more questions. Um, but before you do that, you might want to slow it down and pause it and see if you can see why I did each step. I don't think there are any mistakes here. Um, of course, if there are, we, we need to go back. And if something doesn't make sense, it's possible it's a mistake. You should ask all right, best wishes. Thanks for the question, DP. I'm looking forward to uh, working with you this semester. You know what I'm going to write down? Thanks, DP. Awesome.